How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is my Nexus 9. Awesome, awesome tablet and we're going to show you guys how to install a custom ROM on the Nexus 9. Specifically we're going to be talking about installing Liquid Smooth ROM and it is Lollipop based so let's go do this. So to install Liquid Smooth ROM, there are some prerequisites you're going to have to make. And the first one is you're going to have to have an unlocked bootloader. And if you have an unlocked bootloader, you probably have custom recovery. I prefer uh, Team Win Recovery Project or Twerp Recovery. Along with that, if you have root access, this makes it easier. Not necessarily necessary, but there it is. I like to use this app called Flashify. If you have root access, it's very easy to come in here. Go Flash, Recovery. Download Torp Recovery, flash it, boom, you'll have the latest Torp Recovery. Flashify just makes it so simple. I'm also going to use this app to reboot into Recovery, but first, we need to make sure we have the right files downloaded. So, you're going to download Liquid Smooth right here, uh, Lollipop version 4. If there's a newer version, obviously download the newer version. This is, um, it says right there for Flounder. Um, and then right there it says uh, Signed Zip. So that's what you're going to need on your device before we start anything. Then we're going to reboot into recovery. And there you go. Um, like I said, this thing's running Android version 5.0.1, I think, right now. Shouldn't really matter if you're flashing a custom ROM. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, here we're going to see our uh, Team Win Recovery Project boot up here in just a second. There you go. That is the splash screen. Okay, there we go. We are in uh, Torp Recovery. So from here, it's pretty simple. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and create an Android backup. This is very important. You want to have a backup in case something goes south. Some reason the ROM doesn't flash. You can always get back into Recovery um, by holding your volume up and down and power. Get to bootloader, select Recovery with, with volume up and down, then go to power and it'll boot into Torp Recovery again or Team Win Recovery Project. So we're going to name it, I would name it, you know, that's default name auto-generated. You can also put like stock root or if that's what you have, that's the way I was doing it. So um, I'm not actually going to run this right this minute just because if you look in restore, as you can see, I have already done it. And I don't need another one. I just did it a couple minutes ago. Backup, give it a good 10 minutes to make a backup. It does take quite a while to run. All right. So that's been said. We're going to go ahead and install this. So we're going to go to wipes. We're going to go to Advanced, and we're going to select Delvic, System, Data, Cache. Do not pick Internal Storage. Please do not select that. Um, you'll lose your Internal Storage, and you'll lose all your stuff. You'll lose your, even your ROM you're going to flash, so we don't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and swipe across. This is going to give us a clean slate to install Liquid Smooth ROM, which I'm pretty excited about, and I want to show it off to you as soon as I get it installed here. So we'll go back, back again, back again, go to install. Um, I'm actually already in the right folder. Normally you're going to start here. Mine's in downloads, liquid smooth, that's where I put everything. So there you go. And then I'm going to click on liquid smooth ROM. I'm going to add a zip. Go to the Google Applications Lollipop. And don't worry, I'm going to include all links you're going to need for this in the video description. So you'll see all that, no big deal. So we have two of ten listed. We're going to go ahead and swipe across and flash liquid smooth plus the Google applications for Lollipop. And I'm kind of curious to see if he's got any cool, sometimes these guys put these little graphics in here as you're flashing, which is always fun to look at. Uh, it gives you something to do while you're flashing this ROM. Now this is a very small file size. I think you're under 300 megabytes. And then the app Google applications are around the same. So it shouldn't take very long to, to flash. This is going to be based on CM12. Um, it takes a lot of their elements, a lot of extra elements, and it just gives you this awesome, awesome interface. And I'm also really excited about another thing in there that I'll show you once it boots. There you go. That's that animation, that graphic I was talking about, which gives you something fun to look at. The ROM is already flashed at this point, and right now it's actually flashing right there. Google Applications, Android 5.0, which those won't take long at all. And we'll be able to boot this thing up for the first time, and I'm pretty excited to check out the boot animation. So... Reboot system, and we're going to boot up Liquid Smooth ROM Lollipop version on our Nexus 9. Whoa! There you go. There is the Liquid Smooth uh, boot animation. 
It does look it, like it's actually just a little small for the screen size, just a little bit of black border along the edge. Um, just probably means it isn't formatted for the Nexus 9 screen, but um, definitely a cool boot animation. A little slow, I'm a little surprised about that. I'm guessing it's just because it's loading up. Probably the next time you boot, it'll actually go quite a bit quicker. But very nice, cool boot animation. Um, give this thing some time to load. First boot here is going to take a bit, and we'll uh, check this thing out. So it looks like we're going to heartbeat here on the liquid, uh, liquid smooth the boot animation. That's what it's going to sit at probably until this thing fully boots. Um, again, you know, give it a good five, ten minutes. F after ten minutes, you do not get a booting ROM. You don't get a wel get to the welcome screen and the initial setup screen. Then you probably have an issue, maybe a bad download, um, some compatibility problem, maybe possibly. Hard to say, but um, be patient for that. And um, you know, you can always get back and recover and restore your Android backup, like I was telling you earlier. So that took a solid. Uh, may I repeat, solid eight minutes to boot up. So be patient, it does kind of freak you out, like what's going on, but it does come up eventually. Um, let me go ahead and jump through the initial setup here. And I'm not sure if you guys are noticing this, but there are some things that are in black. Black, darked out, you know, black, like that. So I'm a little excited to see um, how much of it is darked out. That's really why I picked this ROM. Um, along with the cool customization, I'm really sick of the settings being so white and hard to look at. So, let me finish this up. Shabam! There we go. That is initial boot up here of the Nexus 9 on a Liquid Smooth. Now, just curious, this wallpaper that comes preset actually looks like a Tegra Note 7 wallpaper, which is unique. Uh, looks just like one I've seen on there. Yeah, look at that. Very, very cool. I'm liking the dark. So let's go ahead and shoot through this ROM. Uh, I'm just kind of curious what we got on here. It looks like there's no other pages on it right now set up, so I'll, I'll, I'll create one there, two pages. Um, you guys can see the notification pull down, basic standard stuff, flashlight, you know, the huge, which is cool. Um, that's interesting. It says null. Null. Interesting. That looks like it might be like a governor information, which is interesting. Um, let's go ahead and shoot into the app drawer. And yeah, very much minimal, minimal, minimal stock applications. Nothing fancy in here whatsoever. So now let's go ahead and shoot into settings. Yeah, see? I like it. Very nice, very, very nice. So we do have some tweaks here, liquid smooth and performance, buttons and privacy. Um, what else we got here? Super Sue right there, looks like it's built in. Sure, why not? This is going to keep it so that um, updates function correctly. So that's very cool. There we go, that all looks nice. Developer options is already turned on. I wonder if advanced reboot. I wonder if they have that on here. Not seeing it. So we'll see if it's in the ROM already. But um, definitely some cool tweaks in here. Some battery things. I'm really liking the coloring in this. This is really nice. Performance, yeah, it's a standard. Your governors, schedulers, all that kind of stuff. Um, CPU, min max, all that. Liquid smooth. So we'll see what we have in here. We have the liquid spoon equalizer. Uh, you need to install update drivers. Yeah, so I'm not, gonna, not right this minute, but. Um, so there you go, Viper for Android FX. You have interface. Ah, LCD density, very important on a tablet like this. So very, very nice. A um, Bunch of other things you can choose. System animations, AOKP custom animations. Um, navigation, yep, height, okay, so you can change the DP, okay, yeah, that's cool, that has to do with navigation down here, um, definitely some cool, cool features in here, notification, yep, yeah, notification aspects, yeah, so there, there is quite a bit in here, ad blocker, if you want to turn that on, just don't turn, block my YouTube ads, um, 
Yeah, quick settings, brightness controls, double tap to sleep, network, clock, battery, battery percentage, inside icon, very nice. So there is quite a bit in here, which is very, very nice looking. I like the customization. I've been waiting for a nice, nice ROM that we can really customize. So yep, there we go. Very, very nice. Um, let's change out some wallpaper and see if there's any new wallpaper in here. Um, huh. Just the one, it looks like, besides anything that's going to be on your device. So you can go to gallery. Looks like I don't have any images on here right now. I can go to my other gallery downloads or something. Yeah, there's nothing on here. So I'm surprised there's not any liquid smooth, um, you know, wallpapers in there. Maybe that'll be something I'll add at a late, a future date. Uh, let's also go into widgets really quickly and see. See, even this is darked out. I just like the darked out look. I feel like it just makes sense to do. Ooh, that's a nice widget. That's pretty sweet. Um, Gmail. Sure, that all looks good. So, let's see here. Hang on. Spread that out again. There we go. So, that's cool. It gives you weather, emails, all that stuff in there. So, nice. Very nice. Let's finish looking at some widgets here. Yeah, standard stuff. Nothing too uh, eye-dropping. But um, definitely a nice little, uh, you know, custom uh, ROM here. I really like the dark settings. That's probably my big, my biggest and favorite feature of this ROM. It's just, it's just really nice. Otherwise, you know, it's very much like Saijin mod. Nothing too sticking out to me except for in settings, you do have those liquid smooth, all these settings, which is pretty nice. So definitely look through those, customize to your Harlow Heart's Desire, and uh, you'll be good to go here with liquid smooth on the Nexus 9. Hope you guys like this video here, doing a quick install, basically how to install a custom ROM. It would be the same process for Saijin Mod 12 um, CM if that ever comes to this device. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it should be anytime soon. Hopefully we just need to get a little support for it and we'll be good to go. But that's going to wrap it up for me here on Liquid Smooth. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. I'll be adding this to my XDA thread with the full list of all the videos I've done on this device along with RootJunkie.com and all my social media. So check that out. Um, follow, subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.